Hello everyone and welcome back to class 3 English. Today's lesson will be Unit 10, The Ship of the Desert, written by S.K. Ram. The main theme of this unit is to introduce animal habitats and different regions like desert areas, cold mountains and hot jungles. Well, this lesson is a conversation between a camel and a lion. The story makes it clear that the camel is truly the ship of the desert. So, what is a desert? A desert is a dry, barren, treeless region, usually sandy. A huge area of sand or flat stony ground. Now let's read the conversation of these two animals to get more information about the camel. The ship of the desert. The lion roared and said, Who are you? And the camel, looking down at the lion, replied, I am the ship of the desert. Who are you? And the lion said, Don't you know me? I am the king of the forest. And the camel replied, Are you? Oh, I see. And the lion frowned and said, You call yourself the ship of the desert? How can you be a ship? You are an animal. And the camel smiled and said, So I am, but people call me the ship of the desert. I can walk across the desert even on a hot afternoon. The sand burns, but it doesn't bother me. The lion replied, I can't believe it. And the camel said, Can you walk across a desert? The lion blinked and replied, No, I can't, but I can run in the forest. And the camel replied with disdain, Every animal can do that. I alone can run on sand. I can run on sand at 25 kilometers an hour. And the lion was wondering, How can you do that? And the camel replied once again, Look at my feet. They are thick and padded. The hot sun does not burn them. The lion said, My feet are padded too. Thorns don't prick them and I can run 80 kilometers an hour. And the camel replied, That is true. You can run 80 kilometers an hour in the forest, but can you run even a mile on the hot sand? And the lion stammered and said, Maybe not, but... And the camel interrupted and said, And you can't live without water for a week, can you? And the lion replied, No, I can't. I need water every day. But don't tell me you can do without water. The camel replied, Yes, I can. There are no rivers or lakes in the desert, but that does not bother me. I can drink 200 bottles of water at a time. The lion said, Really? You must have a big stomach. And the camel replied proudly, Yes, I have a big stomach. I can store water for a week. I can store food for two weeks even. And now the lion was showing a lot of interest. Do you store food in your stomach? The camel replied, No, I don't. I store it in my hump. I eat a lot of food at one time. Then I don't need to eat for a fortnight. And the lion said, That's interesting, but what do you eat? The camel replied, I eat leaves, but there are no trees in the desert. And the lion asked, What do you eat there? And the camel replied again, There are thorny bushes in the desert. I eat the thorns. The thorns don't prick my thick tongue. 
And the lion said, How funny! So the camel replied, The lion, Mr. King of the forest, please come with me to the desert. And the lion said, No, I'd better not. I can't work on burning sand, I can't store food and water, and I can't eat tones. Goodbye and good luck, Mr. Sheep of the Desert. Now let's find out some reasons why the camel is known as the ship of the desert. The camel has a thick and padded feet with uh, which the sun and the hot sand of the desert doesn't burn. The thorny bushes can't even prick them. The camel can drink 200 bottles of water at a time. There are no lakes or rivers in a desert. But that doesn't bother the camel. That got us wondering, right? So how do camels stay hydrated in such dry climates? Well, they have unique blood cells that runs throughout their entire body, including a few in the hump itself. These blood cells are extremely elastic perfect for holding a lot of water. Expanding the cells up to 240% in the process. There are capillaries throughout its body and when it has a drink, it drinks and drinks and drinks and it swells up. Water gets stored in oval shaped red blood cells. A camel can eat a lot of food at one time and stores in its hump. Then it doesn't need to eat for a fortnight. Fortnight means a unit of time equal to 14 days, which is 2 weeks. As we know that there are no trees or green grasses in the desert. There are thorny bushes which the camel eats and the tones of such bushes of the desert doesn't prick the thick tongue of the camel. Alright, do we know what's inside a camel's hump? Inside a camel's hump is fat and a lot of people think it is water, but it's certainly not. It is fat and it nourishes the camel when it is on a long journey. The fat can sustain the camel for weeks or even months without food. You see, camels are one of the only uh, animals in the world that store all their fat in one spot and that's useful for keeping cool in a hot climate because heat can escape faster from the rest of its body which helps it maintain a lower body temperature. These are the reasons why the camel is called the ship of the desert. Now it's time we answer a few questions from your textbook. Question number one. Why is the camel called the ship of the desert? The camel is called the ship of the desert as it can move easily on the sand because of its padded feet. It stores food in its hum and can travel long distances without water for many days. Question number two. How many weeks can a camel store food in its hum? A camel can store food for two weeks in its hum. What does the camel eat in the desert? The camel usually eats thorny bushes in the desert. Well, that's all for today's lesson. We'll do the remaining exercises in our next class. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.